Timbawati lion. Yeah. 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 Oh my god, get not body as it there. No,
hope at a little repetitive day after day. Now to get our attention, little Eddie here will holler out a hello, Eddie. And next up is usually the demand to play her favorite game. And her favorite game to play with us, well, she is going to tell you what that is. <laughs> she loves to be tickled. Now, just like you and I, though, when little Eddie is tickled, the response is often a bit of laughter. <laughs> Gets her chuckling. And she is a female of her species. The only reason why I know that is we have done DNA testing on her. In the parent family, males and females tend to look exactly the same within their own species. So it takes a drop of blood or a feather sent away through the lab to look at their DNA to find out whether or not they're males or females. Little Eddie, though, gave us a few good clues. The results would be coming back. She was, in fact, a female Amazon. What happens when you see one of our male Amazons? <laughs> Right? Get his attention and then give him a kiss. Very caring young lady. And one thing that we do a lot of here at the Safari to stay cool and survive these hot summer days is drink water, of course. So Eddie has heard us drinking a glass of water so often she knows exactly what we sound like. <laughs> Some good chug up. But Eddie here loves to sing, unfortunately for all of you. She's not the best singer, but she enjoys and tries her hardest. So let's get a couple of tunes out of her today. We're gonna warm up her voice. Perfectly in tune. All right, her first tune is a bit of our national anthem as she has proudly hatched right here in Canada. <laughs> Very patriotic, Eddie. Ooh. All right, you liked it. It wasn't too bad. She has another song then she'd love to sing for you. And before she gets going, I was wondering, is it anybody's birthday here today? Happy birthday on Safari. Oh, we got one all the way at the top and all the way over here. Two people, not too bad for a small audience. Raise your hand though nice and high if your birthday is in August. Just a few more people in August, Eddie. What do you think? Not gonna do it. Okay, Eddie says raise your hand nice and high if you have a birthday coming up. I see your hand up there. In the next year or so. That's all she wants to do. Yeah. All right, quite a few hands. Good enough for our Eddie. This lovely little tune is for all of you, and especially if you're celebrating today. Here's me in the next year. Ooh. All the words, none of the rhythm, but not too bad for little green bird. Give it up for our Eddie. Now here at African Lions Fire, we do believe that the first steps in conservation are education. So hopefully you've had some fun meeting some birds today. Perhaps you've learned a thing or two, and hopefully you gained a better appreciation and understanding not only the unique birds that you met out here today, but of course all of the wonderful birds that we share our planet with. I'd like to invite you all down to come on down, have a better look at these birds, and ask any questions that you might have. But don't forget, around the corner in about 10 minutes will be our next bird of prey flying demonstration of the day. Eddie has one last thing. Bye-bye. Enjoy the rest of your day here on Safari. Goodbye now. All the way down to that rock wall right, right at the end of the video. Now our next pair of birds are scavengers, and that means that they actually really like to eat dead things. Because of that, they've got to be pretty good at moving around on the ground, and they've actually developed a flat foot to help them do this. Now that flat foot means that they're actually pretty fast on their feet. So we're gonna show off that with a little bit of a foot race today. Their names are Miss Me Kirby and their pair of black buzzards will be coming right over there. Now they're gonna fly back into the field and when they do that, I'm gonna tell you how to win our race. So you guys are gonna start all the way down there and run all the way up here to the steep perch. So while you do that, try to run on this side because the vulture is gonna have this side. And when they do like eating roadkill, they don't really like eating roadkill. So please nobody squash a <laughs> Now once you're up here, I want you guys to give the steep perch a nice high five and that's how we'll know who won our race. Now if you guys happen to trip, get up really quickly because these birds like to eat things that look dead. 
So now you guys have seen them. Do you think they're faster than a black vulture? Maybe. I'll go ahead and ask the audience. Go ahead and clap when you think the kids are going to be faster. I think you can be better than that, guys. Come on. Okay. Who thinks the vultures are going to be faster? Home and tell all your friends and family that you guys are faster than a black vulture. Hey. <laughs> 